okay open google and look for express ejs layout from npmjs.com you can find the package from here you just need to click on here it will copy and uh, on your terminal paste it here npm i express ejs layout scroll down here they have shown how to use express js layout we just need to use this express layout on here on index js below this set and one more thing we need to require it okay by using express ejs layout we can create a layout file layout.ejs as we saw in uh, the documentation they are saying they are saying to create a file with name of layout inside layout.ejs let me take everything from home.ejs and paste it here in the place of hello world we are going to we are going to give a less than and greater than sign and in between them give a dash and body what does it mean this body mean everything we create every element will pass inside this body and we are going to wrap everything inside body with some tag in here we are going to include a header or footer something like that Let, let's make a folder partial inside partial i'm going to create a file navbar dot ejs from bootstrap get bootstrap.com click on documentation components inside component we have navbar i'm going to use one of the navbar from here uh which one should i use uh, this is looking perfect to me let's click on copy and paste it here as well and we can use this navbar outside this body that mean all of the views will have this navbar okay uh, no matter how many uh, how many views file we have created every every element will have this navbar okay so give a less than and greater than sign double percentage and dash include inside include we will have partial inside partial we have navbar dot ejs let's try it out make sure your terminal is working from now i'm going to use nodemon for continuously updating npm install nodemon in case you haven't installed nodemon globally just run the command npm install nodemon dash g node mon index js okay now our server is running it is running on localhost 5000 so reload the page there it is you can see no style has been applied that means we haven't set any bootstrap files i guess let me copy this separate script and paste it inside layout.ejs below this body and one more thing we need that is this style sheet copy this and paste it here at the top below this title save it once again reload the page 
yeah it is beautiful styling for our navbar okay inside our home.ejs let's make a container if you don't know how to use bootstrap then i have some tutorial where i made some project with bootstrap that is very basic level okay just write dot container it will add a class of container inside a div let me show you here it is just press tab after that br and press tab it will add a break line next i am going to add a class row this all classes are coming from bootstrap inside row will have two column call md6 that md means mid screen multiplied by two press tab okay inside first column we'll have we'll have a a mean links sorry we'll have a here we are going to set up our image img let me copy this a and image tag inside this column 2 as well control shift i control shift i for rearranging your code now here comes the public folder we have made and inside public folder i have a folder that is img and here we have two template template image this is png file so i'm going to set up express static files okay from expressjs.com on get started you can see static file here they have shown how to use static files okay so let me copy this line and paste it this is our midi layer so here it is okay here inside this image tag in source we can write img forward slash name of our image that was resume green you can just right click and rename it and control a and copy and paste it here as well give a forward slash at the very beginning let me copy the source from here as well we have two quotation mark which you don't want and inside image source of second column let paste the same thing but this time it would be green save it once again reload the page it's showing the green uh, green image but blue image is not showing because i made a mistake here okay i think we need some space in between the, these two images so let's add class of img fluid copy this class and paste it below as well save it and reload the page once again it should work yes it's looking perfect to me